It's tempting to take content that we create for print materials and simply paste them onto the web. But with a little finesse, those materials can get a lot more mileage online. Here are a few tips. Use short paragraphs. Reading on a computer or a mobile device is very different from reading a paper format. For one, your reader's probably distracted. They're on a train or on their iPad in front of the TV or even sitting at a stoplight. Keeping paragraphs no longer than three to four sentences makes your content easier to digest, helping hold your visitors' attention longer and keep them engaged in your content. Use short line widths. Text that goes the whole width of the screen is hard to read, not to mention it's hard to keep track of as you go to a new line. Unfortunately, there's no hard and fast rule for this. At the time of this video, best practice is probably to keep your line width 700 pixels wide or smaller, but devices change as time goes on, so I'll simply return to our first refrain and recommend that you ask yourself, how can I make this text as easy as possible for my users to read? Respect your user's time. Our visitors' attention is split in a thousand different ways, and we have a very short window in which to make a positive impression. Think about how you might make your content more digestible. Could you use subheadings? Subheadings or appropriate images mean a visitor can glance away and easily find their place again. Can you use simpler language to describe something? What are the most popular pieces of content? Are there ways you can make those easier to find? If you're like me, you probably have internal names or acronyms for your departments, projects, and collections that might not totally be clear to someone outside your organization. This is especially relevant when you're designing your site's navigation. I'll give an example. The lunch library has three departments, the cheese department, the condiment department, and the sandwich department. The library might choose to organize its website based off of those three divisions, cheese, condiments, and sandwiches. But if I'm visiting the site and I want more information about grilled cheese sandwiches, what do I visit? Grilled cheese is a sandwich, so maybe I visit the sandwich department, but it's a cheese sandwich, so maybe I visit the cheese department? Obviously, this is a fictional example. But how might you help the lunch library do better? The answer is to think externally, not internally. It probably doesn't matter to a visitor whether Jane Doe is a cheese scholar or a sandwich scholar. They just want to know how to find more information about lunch. Perhaps a search function would help, or putting all scholars in the same place on the site. If there are popular lunch questions, the lunch library could put links to information about those lunches on their homepage. It all comes back to the same refrain. How do I make this as clear and easy as possible for my site visitors? There's one remaining challenge that I bet we've all encountered. Sometimes we need to get things from our users, whether it's a donation or an email sign up or for them to share on social media. We're hoping that their attention will help us meet our goals. I'll say first that the very best way to do this is through a positive user experience. If someone thinks highly of your site, they're more likely to support it. But what if we want to be more aggressive? It's tempting to block access to our site content before someone creates an account or signs up for our email list. It's also tempting to wallpaper a site with a call to action in hopes of getting the message across. But these methods can be very disruptive to the user experience, and annoyance is something that doesn't often lead to conversions. The very best way is to ask yourself, how can I make my users want to take this action? Perhaps you can offer a tangible reason, like membership benefits. But intangible benefits work too. Including your users in accomplishing your mission can go a long way. For example, Asking a visitor to help us expand into local schools can be more effective than simply saying, donate now. Put yourself in your user's shoes. Why would I want to do this? The better you can make that case, the more conversions you'll have.
Providing powerful motivators, clear labeling, and content that's easy and pleasant to consume goes a long way to building confidence and respect with your visitors. It's much easier to present a call to action when you know that you have a satisfied audience. Clearly articulating your site's goals is one of the hardest challenges, but it's also one of the most important. If all of your content is pushing in the same direction, you're much more likely to meet your goals. One last word of warning. This process is never easy, but it is absolutely worth the effort. Thanks for watching.